lunches, you guys. Today, we're talking lunch. Oh. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of a mom life. And in today's video, we are talking lunch. And roughly about once a month here on the channel, I share what I give my three kiddos for lunch while we do homeschool here at home. So before 2020 and things got crazy and my kids actually went outside of the home to go to school, I would share weekly lunch videos with you guys on what each one of my kids took for lunch in their lunchbox. But now they're staying home. I bought these really snazzy trays off of Amazon, which are linked in my store down below if you guys want to go ahead and check them out. And this is what I give my kids for lunch every day. So this is just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration and all of these things can be easily transferred into lunchbox form. So have no fear if you still send your child outside of the home to go to school. All these ideas are super easy and super transferable just to be able to still send them to school in their lunchbox and I have all of my favorite lunch containers that I absolutely love all the things that I used to use to send my kids when they went outside of the home listed down below in the description box and on my Amazon store as well so if you guys are looking for really good containers or how are you gonna get all these things that I'm sharing into your child's lunchbox into the building well I got you covered there too so make sure you check the description box for all of the goodies but for now now, let's get into what my kids had for lunch over the past month. So kind of sad for my kids, but my kids always get their Halloween lunches early so I can film them to share them with you guys. So last time I filmed Halloween lunch and it wasn't actually Halloween. So these are more Halloween themed lunches. And on this day, I did a pizza that I just cut into a pumpkin shape. It was a regular personal pizza. And then I did grapes and I said that those were eyeballs. And then I did little applesauce pouches and I just did the orange one, the apple, mango, yellow, carrot, peach, so that that still went. And then my kids split different things. Mason had the nacho cheese Doritos and Maya had the pretzels. And then each of the little kids also had two JoJo's and a couple of those little chocolate cookie cats for people to finish those off. And then here is Jake's plate. He does not like the JoJo's or the cookie cats for people. So my girlfriend Lauren had actually sent me some homemade cookies with my medicine when she sent my medicine delivery. And so I gave him some of those plus those little ginger snap cookies that I got from Trader Joe's along with sour cream and onion potato chips and an orange. Now for the next day is a day when usually Jake has something different than the little kids. If the little kids have some kind of corn dog or hot dog wrapped in something because that's not really Jake's thing. So this is Jake's plate and I made him that Vermont Marie Collender's macaroni and cheese with a little baked crumbs on top. So he has that along with some eyeball grapes, some mandarin oranges. He has the apple cider cookies from Trader Joe's along with those Cheetos that were the bag of bones. They were the rib cage and the head and the arms and the bones that were the Halloween themed. And so that's what he had for his chip. And now here is the kids' plates. Like I said, anytime that they have something hot dog related is when Jake usually switches it up. So of course I gave the kids some JoJo's. Here's a closer look of them so you can see what the Halloween JoJo's look like from Trader Joe's. Like they make it look like an actual pumpkin face. And of course, like I said, Mason had to have the slimy green grape eyeballs and then the mandarin oranges that look like pumpkins. And then those are the little peanut butter tiny crackers from Trader Joe's. Mason said those were pumpkins too and then this was supposed to be a mummy dog with blood on the plate and so it was just a little hot dog and I had some leftover dough for making homemade pizzas and so we just used that dough to wrap up the hot dog and then like I said they had ketchup on the side so that was Maya's plate she only had one and then I made two of the small hot dogs for Mason you know that kid is going to be seven and I swear he's going to eat me out of house and home now I can't imagine a teenager 
So now we're on to another day that Jake took something different than the kids. So Jake had some leftovers and the little kids did more of a picky plate. So I'll link that video for you guys up above, but I did a dessert and booze hacks. And one of the dessert hacks was taking apple slices and making autumn flavored nachos. So that's what I did. And I gave some of those to the kids along with some watermelon. I took a chicken patty, cooked that up and cut it in four pieces. So it was like a nugget. They have the layered fruit strip in the strawberry banana. And then they also have some of those apple cider cookies. Those are cookies that were sent to me by one of my awesome subscribers. They sent me a whole bunch of coffee from Aldi that I'm completely missing out on, along with some really yummy goodies. And that was some of the apple cider cookies I decided to share with my kids. So now here is Jake's plate and the night before we had enchiladas and there was a little bit of enchilada inside mix left over. So I gave him a little side thing of nachos, some cheese, some tomatoes, a little bit of that enchilada mix, sour cream and green onion. Here's one of those enchiladas, but they're pretty big. Even though he's a big growing teenager, he was fine with just that and then some watermelon. And then he said, well, where's my snacky stuff? All right, Jake. All right, I got you. So he got some of those apple cider cookies along with some of those sour raisins. My kid is obsessed with those raisins, you guys. Like, who knew? All right, now here's another day different from the kids. So you can tell that my little kids are a little bit more lenient where I can get yummy stuff in them. And Jake is pretty much like pasta and carbs. All right, but my little kids love themselves like a pick on kind of plate. And so here's Maya's plate. She has one of those Chobani gimme yogurts in the bunch of bouncy grapes. She has some broccoli and carrot sticks, some blueberries. She has a peanut butter Annie's Rice Krispie treat, a little bit more of those peanut butter crackers, and then half of a Nature's Fig Bakery bar. And then Mason has a yogurt also, but that's in the See You Later strawberry. And instead of the veggies, he has another applesauce pouch he also has that rice crispy treat along with some blackberries and then more of those peanut butter crackers and then the other half of his sister's nature's fig bakery bar and now for Jake, I got one of those Main Street Kitchen, the white cheddar Vermont mac and cheese, but it's not really a lot. So I went ahead and mixed some broccoli in there for him. And then he has some watermelon. He also has a Rice Krispie treat. He has another one of those lemon blast sour raisins. And then that in the back corner is something else that I made. And I believe that that was in that same dessert and booze hacks. Maybe not. That might've been a previous one, but that was actually like spicy crackers, something similar that Vanessa made in our cookbook but in an oyster cracker form and Jake is obsessed with them so I'll link those videos so you guys can go ahead and check it out but here's a leftover day for my kids but this worked out great so the night before I made a huge broccoli and cheese bake and then I let the kids have the leftovers. So here's Jake's pr plate. Again, you guys can tell like any kind of pasta he's all about, especially when you shove some broccoli in there. And so I also gave him some strawberries. And then he has some of the Annie's cheddar bunnies. He's obsessed with having every compartment full. So he has one little Hershey kiss right there. And then that in the corner is a chocolate brownie a fiber one bar. I think I got it like in a variety fun box or something, but I wanted him to give it a try. And then here is Mason's plate. You can tell I had to fish all the broccoli out for him out of this broccoli bake, but he still loved the creamy mac and cheese part of it. And then he had some grapes along with the cheddar bunnies, one of those Hershey Kisses, and then half of a Nature's Fig Bakery bar. Those things are so dense. I love being able to split that between Mason and Maya. And then here is Maya's plate. She does like broccoli, so there's broccoli in her pasta along with the grapes, the cheddar bunnies, a Hershey Kiss, and then the other half of her brothers nature's fig bakery bar but that was it for this day so I feel like sometimes I have videos where the kids take pretty much the same thing all the time and Jake's not different. And then I feel like in this video, he's seriously complicated and different in every single one. So on this particular day, I couldn't even film them together because I was doing something when he needed to take his lunch. And so he had to get back to class. So this was kind of like a, he took a photo and sent it to me and said, hey, this was my lunch. And so here it is. He has a triple decker peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it's the only way I can get him him to eat a pb and j if i can get him to eat one it has to be a triple decker that is my almost 17 year old kid like 
he can house anything, I swear. Um, but I have to say that I've been working with him this entire time during quarantine, and I've got a lot more fruits and things in him that he said he didn't like before. So he's been all about grapes lately, which he was never into. So that's a mom win for me because Jake loves his vegetables, but not so much fruit, pretty much watermelon and strawberries. So I pick and choose my battles, and I love that I'm starting to get a little bit more of some fruits in him. And then down in the corner are some pickled vegetables. So that's actually cucumber, celery, and carrot sticks that I pickled for him. And he absolutely loves that. And then right next to that is those cinnamon snickerdoodle or cinnabon cookies. One of those kinds that I got from Trader Joe's during the holiday time. He just loved all the holiday goodies. And then over there in the corner is one of those great value bags of sour cream and onion potato chips that I just took out and poured into the tray. So once I was actually able to return to the kitchen and make lunch and I didn't have kids running off, this is what my little kids had. So I made fish sticks that day and they have that with ketchup along with some watermelon and grapes. They have some great value chips. This is Mason's. He has the crunchy cheese doodles along with a raspberry lemonade pure organic fruit bar. And then that is banana bread that the school sent us like a whole bunch of slices of that. And I had stuck it in the freezer. So I just defrosted them and gave some banana bread to the kids on the side and then here's Maya's plate she had all the same things except she had barbecue chips instead of the crunchy cheese doodles and she had a strawberry banana fruit leather instead of the raspberry lemonade all right, and now we are on to what I think is our last lunch of this video and this is pizza Friday and so we did pizza rolls which is always super easy for mom because it's in the oven and out it comes and pretty much all of my kids like to dunk it in my homemade ranch so here's Jake's plate he has more pizza rolls than the little kids and some ranch dressing along with some broccoli and tomatoes he has the Annie's cheddar bunnies he has the Annie's little chocolate chip cookies and then he also has the Annie's fruit snacks yes we love Annie's in this house if you didn't already know all right, and then here is one of the little kids' plates. So they have just a smaller version of the pizza rolls. Oh, it's Maya's, of course, because it has broccoli and tomatoes on it with cheddar bunnies, chocolate chip cookies, and fruit snacks. And then here is Mason's. There you go. You can tell it's Mason's because there's a bright, shiny apple in the corner with cheddar bunnies, chocolate chip cookies, the fruit snacks, and then he has pizza rolls and he wanted no ranch. So you can definitely tell that my kids are quite different. Now, I decided to include these last two clips because this is the definition of how different that my kids are. So my little kids, they love to eat, but they are perfectly fine with running around and getting their energy out and waiting for mom to be able to get them their lunch. Jake cannot wait. Besides the fact that he's on a time schedule for his virtual learning, when that kid is hungry, he is just hungry. So sometimes he'll fix himself lunch and take a picture and send it to me so that I can include it for a video. And this is how my kid packs him lunch. So that's two compartments of salad, which is, you know, great, obviously more salad. But then he has ranch chips as well as white cheddar Cheez-Its. Like that's a little much. And then this was a Monday after football. You can tell because there's like miscellaneous appetizers and those were leftovers. And he took three skinny pieces of pizza and two of these barbecue chicken sliders. Like that is a ton of food. And I never would have packed him all of that, but he did that because he knew mom wasn't looking. Well, I will tell you, however, that I'm not the kind of mother that would let that slide. So this is the next time he packed himself some lunch. And boy, he did a better job in choices before he sent this picture to me. So up top is actually one of those country fried chicken bowls. It's almost like a KFC bowl, but I get the banquet one. So it has mashed potatoes, pieces of fried chicken, corn and gravy. So that's what he has in the top compartment. And then he has strawberries. He has some cucumbers in the middle is a little ramekin with some ranch dressing for for dunking next to his ramekin he just has a couple of those annie's chocolate chip cookies and then he also has the great value chili cheese corn chips so that is definitely more of a reasonable lunch and something mom would have packed so hopefully my eldest has learned his lesson 
But that is it, you guys, for another What's for Lunch video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully we were able to bring you guys just a little inspiration to your lunchtime, whether you're serving it at home or whether you're packing it in a bag to go. Hopefully we were able to give you some ideas to just kind of change or switch things up a bit. Don't forget to check the description box to see if any of those containers suit your needs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you are new like I said I do share one of these roughly about once a month I love you guys all so much thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys